Hi, I thought of sharing um, this little uh, presentation I put together. Um, I was feeling a little bit down, uh, reviewing in my mind 2020, all the things I couldn't do, all the things I didn't do, all the negative thoughts. Um, and normally what I like to do at the end of the year, especially between Christmas and New Year, is to review what I've achieved, um, see where um, I've made some errors or made mistakes for improving, and then kind of set some goals for the following year. Uh, but when I started to look back on 2020, I just thought, you know what, this has been such a useless year, um, I give up. But thanks to Zoom and thanks to the fact that a lot has happened on the screen, um, and thanks to the fact that I was taking little snapshots and screen grabs at times uh, to report back to clients, etc., I actually was able to go through my archives and find a lot of stuff. And I got really excited and I will feel really positive. So I want to encourage you to do the same to review. Uh, this is a mix of my profession and uh, my personal life. And I just wanted to share it with you very quickly. January 2020 started off with having two main clients, Taru Villas and four brands under Eco Team in Sri Lanka. And um, I was really fortunate uh, that the trade press into December, early Jan were very supportive of, of giving me some and my clients some, some coverage. So thank you very much to Travel Weekly, uh, Travel Mall and Travel Daily. Um, in February, I took on another client, Zaman Tours in Jordan. I did my first trip to Jordan, all very exciting, so really promising start. Um, and uh, here are the business partners in Jordan and a little write-up by Travel Weekly. Um, so February and March were really busy visiting uh, tour operators, speaking to the media. Uh, that previous slide was Emirates. This is at a meeting I did with Carrier um, and meeting with TTG. I brought some Sri Lankan um, little treats for the team at TTG to try and started doing some Zoom presentations even before the lockdown. Um, and in this particular case, I was with the Eco team presenting to Deepam Travel in Sri Lanka, so working already with the DMCs to make sure they know what we're doing, what we're offering. And um, February was also great. It was my wife's big um, birthday. So um, we had some time. I got to spend some time with my mom, with lots of friends. So that was brilliant. And um, March was a uh, climax of that first quarter, strong, um, sponsored the main travel trade event. I, I consider it in the UK as Unite, not as WTM. And under the banner of Secrets of Ceylon, I was able to bring together some um, leading brands in Sri Lanka, some of them not even companies that I represent or work with, but it allowed me to, um, to bring them together. And um, these are just a few pictures from the Arrival Lounge um, these are the partners that were there. Um, these are the goodie bags that we printed. And on the other side, it says Zaman Tours that the 82 operators took home. Um, and yeah, it was wonderful. Some really, really positive meetings, some great follow-up, um, good publicity for the hotels who backed it. And it was the this beginning of, of planting this dream of bringing together various brands um, in Sri Lanka uh, to be promoted in the UK, not only those that I formally represent. Um, and then um, March was going to end with uh, <coughs> me taking two travel editors, Graham and Steve, plus uh, uh, Rupert Parker out to Sri Lanka to experience some of these amazing uh, and experiences that I represent. And then we had lockdown. Um, April was uh, still limping, um, did a couple of Zoom presentations, one with Buzz Travel on crisis marketing, and the other one, I just created a video on Sri Lanka for travel agents. And this was a big success, you know, almost 700 views uh, by travel agents. So that's been really good. And May to August was really interesting. It allowed me to spend some time uh, re-looking at my business, what I need to change, how am I going to be relevant, and how am I going to build a business that succeeds in 2021. Um, it allowed me to do what I love doing, which is basketball. I had to stop coaching, unfortunately. Um, because, you know, of COVID, but I started off by doing Zoom training with five children, but that was a disaster, to be quite frank. But then I created the videos and, and really got behind um, doing these training videos. I did do some limited training um, in my back garden, which was great with one or two children at a time. And um, it was also about family. It was about whitewater rafting. We went zip lining. We went out up to Scotland and enjoyed countryside. Um, 
we went and explored waterfalls. We saw salmon spawning. Um, we saw some beautiful rainbows up close. Really, really special times. We discovered the beaches in Scotland are as good as the Caribbean or Sri Lanka, except a little bit cooler. And um, also I got to discover and appreciate my own garden. I've got grapes as and apples. I'm so blessed um, with nature. It also came with this downfall. One week we had scorching hot sun and, and the grass completely died. And the following week, literally 10 days later, we had flooding around the corner where you can see these cars partly submerged in, um, in the water just around the corner from my home. Um, we were also able to celebrate my in-laws uh, wedding anniversary belatedly um, in August and um, our 15th wedding anniversary. So a lot of special occasions. August got us excited coming back to business. I want to thank Laura and Steve at Selling Travel for giving me the opportunity to share an update with the um, Selling Travel uh, travel agents. Um, and um, I did a lot of work with my new client, W15, both Tantana and Willikama, where we have an amazing team that we've put together from end of July, early August. And um, we've been doing presentations to over 25 BMCs. The largest group in that was, um, I think it was 53 people who joined from Jetwing and we did a quiz using Kahoot. Um, did some one-to-one -one training and, and, and meetings with some of the leading UK tour operators and um, started managing and running the, um, the LinkedIn page for W15, which has been very successful. As you can see, a large number of British um, people following the page, travel agents and tour operators. And then we started creating events. And this was the first event, which was with Johan Pires. For those of you who don't know him, he's a hairdresser, but he's also one of the first Sri Lankans to climb Mount Everest. So he came up to lead the hike into the Hantana mountain range, but also just to share uh, with everybody um, the challenges that he faced in climbing and how to overcome some of these challenges. Um, we also created new stories. You know, there's not always things to talk about. so. Um, we discovered, or the naturalist at the property in Hantana discovered that we had the Lupino version of the Sri Lanka hanging parrot, never recorded before. So we got it verified by uh, Professor Kotagama, and then we created a little video and, and we went viral on, on communicating it to, to readers, to potential guests, to past guests. It was all about you know, creating stories, which was a lot of fun. Um, Condon asked, uh, we entered and we were very privileged to win um, a very prestigious award um, in just for such a young company where we were in the uh, category of best new or recent renovated hotel. And this was up against all of the hotels in the category in Asia, in Africa, in the Middle East, Indian Ocean, Oceania. So we were thrilled to, to win this. Um, August to December saw me do almost 15 cooking demonstrations and the idea was born from travel agents wanting to um, improve their um, or travel agents wanting to engage with their customers and finding that their customers were not booking holidays so how could they engage and I said well let's do some cooking demonstrations and uh, in this particular picture it's John Cole's travel agent who invited some of his friends and uh, we did these presentations of me talking about the food, the drink, and then doing a bit of a cooking demonstration. Um, again, big thank you and big shout out to Graham at Travel Mall for giving me this opportunity to give an update in August about uh, Sri Lanka. And um, that was also very popular and been seen by several hundred uh, people. And, um, and then in October, we got some lovely uh, publicity from Travel Bulletin, both about W15 and about Aru Villas. Um, this culminated, and I think the year for me, from a professional point of view, the culmination was creating an event, bringing together the High Commissioner um, and 33 properties under eight brands to do a series of presentations tied up with um, several tour operators, leading tour operators to co-sponsor and cover the costs. And um, we had uh, Dushan from the Tourist Board, various hoteliers, um, and um, some really good presentations on Sri Lanka. Uh, we had 178 agents attend one of the three um, sessions. Um, so that was 178 hours of learning. 
We then put all these videos on Secrets of Ceylon and up to the end, uh, up to today, we've had over 480 hours of viewing. Uh, we partnered with MBR, My Booking Reward, so we had 95 hours of viewing on their site. Um, so that's 750 hours of learning about Sri Lanka and Sri Lankan hotels just between October and December. So that's a huge result and really proud of it. On the back of that, um, I launched this website, Secrets of Ceylon. It has a shop selling um, Sri Lankan products at the moment. The main one is a range of elephants done by um, ladies in a fishing community in Talahena, uh, near Nigambo. Uh, but we also have a section for the trade and um, general information on Sri Lanka and some links. Um, we ended the year with the Agent of the Year competition. It was a quiz using Kahoot and it was very popular. Um, the winner was Carla Murdoch from um, Inverness Travel. And on the bottom right, on the bottom left, Graham Lawrence came second. And top right, Alicia Sharp came third. And the other others are some of the sponsors. And um, December 4th saw the one month, uh, the launch of the one month long winter holiday to Sri Lanka with Metro, which is worth over 100,000 um, pounds. So some really good publicity, over eight or 9,000 uh, entries as of last week and over 3,000 opt-in. So that's going to be really good to be able to communicate directly with the consumer for my um, hotels. So um, on a personal note, again, to summarize, the boys had an amazing year. Xavier um, got in and performed at the Royal Opera House uh, for two of the four months. Uh, Jan and Feb, of course, then April and May didn't happen um, where he was performing the Labo M. He learned how to surf. He learned how to drive a boat. Um, he got recognized as the second best attitude at Tiffin, his school, um, in his year of 180 students. And um, he's also sung in a major movie, which will be out in 2021. He's not allowed to tell us what it is. Um, Kai also had a wonderful season. He had a, a hat trick in a football game. Um, he learned how to surf. He would start the term. And in basketball, he got uh, most improved players. So the kids have really been blessed to... And of course, we have a puppy. So, you know, when you review this year, we have a lot to be thankful for. And um, it just makes me realize, wow, it's been a tough year. Um, lots of things I didn't, um, that I planned to do didn't happen, but I achieved a lot as a business, as an individual, as a family. Um, and so I'm grateful and I thank God for that. And I really want to encourage you to stop and spend a little bit of time to reflect to have probably achieved a whole bunch of things that perhaps you've not stopped to put together. So thank you very much and wishing you a very happy new year. 2021 is going to be really positive, um, I know, for me and I hope for you. Um, and um, I'm going to be announcing some new plans and some new initiatives. I look forward. Thank you.